awake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hi again, this is Genevieve from the blog GraceFreeHome.com and today is a gorgeous day here in the hollow. So I am outside in our garden and I am attempting to try this clay pot irrigation system. It's very low tech, it doesn't cost a lot of money and I'm all for it, especially during the times where we are away from the farm. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. So if you are a gardener like I am, you're always looking for different techniques on how to make your garden better each year. This system of using clay pots to irrigate the garden is nothing new. You may have heard of it. Um, it's spelled O-L-L-A, which is pronounced Oya in Spanish. It means pot. And it is a great low-tech way to irrigate your garden when you're on vacation or maybe a long weekend or maybe you're just so busy that you're not able to come out every day or every other day to water. Uh, for us, we don't have a pump close by to the garden. There is one spigot that's behind me um, a ways that way. And then we also have our creek, which is that way. And I typically will just go and fill up five gallon buckets of water and then bring them back to the garden and water our plants. Sometimes I don't even really water. I just basically water it when it needs it or also just when I initially plant the plants. So that will go for like a few weeks and then after that I just kind of rely on the rain and then also um, adding mulch to the ground. And that really helps to keep that moisture in and keep the plants hydrated. But I'm really excited to give this a try, except it's really expensive typically if you buy the pots specifically for gardening. So that's why I wanted to try this DIY version because I wanted it to be on the cheap and then also um, be able to use a lot of the supplies that we already have. lots of different versions of this. So in order to make this DIY Oya watering pot, what I used was this just regular unglazed terracotta pot. I found it at um, our local Ace Hardware. They don't cost a lot of money. I think this one was $2 and some change for the pot. Unfortunately, you do have to pay for the saucer um, separately. And all I'm doing is removing the sticker and that's kind of ready to go. Um, you also need something like a cork. That's what I ended up using. I've seen some people also use cement, but that was kind of messy. So I didn't really want to do that. So this was my low tech, easy way to plug that hole. You can see how that fits just perfectly in there. It's snug, but not too snug and you can push that in even farther but really all you want to do is close that up and since this is kind of a more natural material i like that i don't have to make any mess with cementing it or adding some kind of epoxy or something like that i really don't want that around um, our plants anyway they do have some pots that are similar to this also terracotta um, that don't have holes on the bottom. So if you can find that, that's great. All I'm gonna do now is space them out in our garden and then dig a hole, put the pots in, fill it with water, put the cap on, and we'll see if this works.
I love projects like these where you can do them within a day and even like less than 30 minutes I can have an irrigation system set up with just a clay pot and a cork. It does have a lid but aside from that that's all I have to do. If you like projects like these too, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along for more inspiration for holistic living through back to basics for the home, heart, and health. See you next time in the hollow.